Hey everyone, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel, The Closet. Now, I just wanted to do a quick video today on a question that seems to be quite consistent with a lot of people in the Lux community. And I see it posted on forums, I see it posted in our Facebook groups, I see it posted on Instagram, and there's a litany of videos about this posted on YouTube as well. So that question is, is the Hermes Birkin worth it? Now, obviously the Hermes Birkin bag is incredibly expensive. There are so many different colors, leathers, hardware options, sizes. So it's definitely not a bag that you would just purchase on an impulse. And it's definitely something that you should do your research on, look into, read reviews, talk to people that have the same size bag or whatever. And it's definitely not something that I would just do off the cuff. Now, as I talked about in my last video about Hermes Investments, this um, video is only going to be about purchasing a Birkin bag pre-loved. I'm not going to talk about, um, you know, spending money in the store to be offered a bag. I'm talking strictly about looking on the pre-loved market. Now, when I talk about whether this bag is worth it or not, I'm talking about a specific buyer who is in the financial position to purchase this bag, especially in the pre-loved market. Considering the price would start from anywhere from $10,000 and upwards to $20,000 Australian. So the Hermes Birkin comes in four sizes, with 25 centimeter being the smallest, 30 centimeter, 35 centimeter, and 40 centimeters. Now the 40 centimeter bag traditionally um, by men and women is used as like a travel bag or overnight bag. Although some people do prefer the size, especially if they take a lot of items to work like laptops and your lunchbox and all those sorts of things. So it is still quite popular with people, especially in America. Now, currently, as we're still in this mini bag, small bag trend, the Hermes Birkin 25 centimeter is the in-demand size. It fetches for an exorbitant amount above retail, a lot more than compared to the 30 or 35 centimeters on the pre-lab market. And it's primarily due to the fact of the Asian influence and the demand in Asia, especially in China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Now, this is probably due to the fact that a lot of Asian women do have smaller frames or they're more of a petite size. And this size does complement their frame when they're carrying it. Now in America, the preference definitely seems to be the 35 centimeter. Now, if I compare that to Australia, we are quite mixed. We do have a lot of people who want all different sizes. It's not really consistent as it is in other countries. And I think that's primarily due to um, our preferences here are just different and our lifestyles are very different here too. We have people who live in smaller towns, bigger towns, cities. Now, in terms of sizing and whether or not it's worth it or not, in my opinion, I would have to say that the Birkin 35 centimeter is the best choice. Now, my reasoning for picking the 35 centimeter size is because if you are spending such a large amount of money on a bag, you wanna make sure it's worth it and it can cover more than just one base. Now, due to the craftsmanship of these bags, they are 100% intended to be used. They're not delicate and they're not flimsy. They are intended to be used, they're intended to have things put inside of them, they're intended to be carried, and they're intended to be loved. It's definitely not a bag that I would purchase for it to sit on my shelf because I'm too scared to use it. Now, this size, in my opinion, is perfect because it covers so many different types of people. Whether you're a full-time parent and you're carrying your babies or child's things, you've got baby wipes, you've got bottles, you've got all of those sorts of things, this will fit that. Whether you're a full-time worker and you want to carry your laptop and notes and all of those sorts of things, this will fit that. So I think it's a bag that you can get a lot of different use out of. You can also just put a few sets of clothes in and a makeup bag for overnight and it suits that perfectly as well. Now the size 30 and the size 25, don't get me wrong, they're still really good sizes and they do suit a specific purpose. However, I do feel like you're quite limited with what you can carry in them. Um, especially with the size 25, I feel like that's more of an evening bag or you just want to put keys, wallet and a small little cosmetic bag or something like that in there. I feel like it's more suited for that. But I think if you're going to spend, um, you know, such a large amount of money, it should cover more than just one base or more, more than one sort of lifestyle. Now, another factor to point out that I do take into consideration with things like this is how the bag looks against your frame and with regards to your size and all of those sorts of things. 
Now, it's very, very common to see, you know, on the purse forum and all those sorts of things where people will upload photos saying, you know, I'm 5'6 or 5'8 and this is how a certain bag looks against my frame to give other people more visual representation of how it looks. Now, I 100% get that people want to see, um, you know, photos like this to help them make an informed decision. However, I feel like the photos can be quite misleading because if you're standing with just one item against a mirror, um, the, the bag isn't always in proportion to your body and it can make the bag look bigger than what it really is. Now, I for one have never seen somebody carrying a bag in public, whatever bag it may be, and thought, ooh, that bag's not really right for their frame or that's too big compared to them. I've never had that thought and I've never really, I've never really, you know, even noticed it to be honest. So I feel like it is quite misleading when looking at these size comparison photos and things like that to make your decision. I just don't think it's accurate enough and I feel like the best way to do it is to borrow a bag or hire a bag or something like that to get a very, very in-person um, view on the bag. Now, obviously you cannot just walk into Hermes and say, hey, can I just see your Birkins because I want to make sure it suits my frame. Obviously you can't do that and I 100% get that. So a little tip that I like to do if I want to double check that something is the right size for me or want to make sure that it can fit what I want it to fit or whatever, I will Google the sizes of that bag in a 2D way to so just, you know, the base and the height and I will put it on paper and I'll put it on cardboard or whatever and I'll cut it out to match that size and I'll use that as my reference. I feel like that's a really, really good way to find out whether the bag is right for you before you go too deep into your research and you figure out that it's not. So all in all, is the Hermes bag worth it? If you're in that market and you're willing to pay that amount of money and you've done the research, 100%. In my opinion, the 35 centimeter is the best size to go. It will outlast any trend. It will always be in style. It's always practical. And I feel like that is your safest bet to go when purchasing a Birkin bag. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any other topics or whatever you want me to speak about, please, please, please do not hesitate to let me know. I had a lot of messages asking about this topic in particular, so I was more than happy to talk about it. So please contact me through my social media channels or comment below and please like and subscribe.